Welcome to Fractional Blocks. In this lesson I am learning to use patterns to find fractions of shapes and sets. Well you can see over here I have got 15 blocks and what I want to do is I want to find out what 1 fifth of 15 would be. So to start with I need to think how can I split this shape up into fifths. Well one way I can do that is by drawing lines down here. So you can see I've got one fifths, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, and five fifths. And I can see that in each of these fifths there are three blocks. Now another way I could have worked this out is using my division facts. I could have said 15 blocks, I need to share them into five groups because my denominator tells me that. 15 shared into 5 groups means there would be 3 in each group. And my numerator tells me I'm only interested in one group, so 3 must be the right answer. Let's try another question. You can see in the shape below I've got 20 blocks. This time I want to find what's 1 fifth of 20. So the first thing I need to do is think, how can I split this shape up into fifths? Well, one way I can do that is to do it by drawing some lines in. And you can see I've got a fifth here, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, and five fifths. And I can see that in each of those fifths there are four blocks. So one fifth of twenty equals four. Now let's see if we can use this question here to help us work out what three-fifths of twenty is. Well up here we worked out that one-fifth was twen of twenty was four, so three-fifths must be three times as much. So I can go three times four equals 12. I got this 3 because I was interested in 3 pieces, that's what my numerator told me, and I got this 4 because that's how many uh, squares are in each of the fifths. So 3 times 4 is 12, so the answer to 3 fifths of 20 is 12. Now let's have a look at this question. Uh, here I've got 9 blocks and I want to find out what 2 thirds of 9 equals. So first of all I want to see how can I split this shape up so that it is in thirds. And I know that I need to split this shape into thirds because my denominator tells me that. Well one way I could do that is by drawing some lines in along here. So I could have one third going down in that direction. If I draw in some more you can see I've got another third going in that direction and one more third going that way. So that's the direction of each of them. So it's easy to see that in one third there are three squares but my question says I need to find out how many are in two thirds. So if there's three and one there must be six and two. So we've actually done this uh, question in two steps. Our first step we tried to work out how many uh, squares are in one third and we did that by taking the nine squares and sharing them into three, uh, three parts or thirds and nine shared between three is three. So in this step we worked out that there are three squares in one third, but we had to work out how many are in two thirds, so we went two times three equals six. We got this two because our numerator said we we're talking about two thirds. We got this three because there are three squares in each third, and two times three equals six. Let's try one last question, but this time we're going to have to use our imagination a little bit. Uh, Let's imagine that in this box here there are 100 squares. I'll write that here, 100 squares. 
Now I want to find out what 3 quarters of 100 would be. Well there's a few different ways that I could split this shape up. I could split it this way, so I'm splitting it in half, and if I did that I'd have 50 on this side and 50 on that side. But my denominator says I need to split it into 4 pieces, not 2. So to do that I have to split it in half again. So you can see I've now got 4 pieces. Now if there were 50 on this side, when it's split in half again, that must mean there'd be 25 here and 25 here. And the same on this side, there were 50 for that whole side, but since I've split it in half, there would be 25 here and 25 here. So we've done step 1, we've done 100, shared into 4 quarters means there are 25 squares in each quarter, but remember I'm not just interested in one quarter, my numerator tells me I'm interested in three, so three lots of 25 equals 75, and I can check that on my picture, 25 plus 25 is 50, plus another 25 is 75, and that's three quarters. Hope you found this lesson helpful. For more help, check out teachertools.co.nz